the key to the balance of power. Because Lewitt and Nikki are, as you can see them here, they're similar sized chimps. They're quite powerful. Both of them are strong and in the prime. Or well, Nikki's quite young, but he's he's going towards his prime. Neither of them can bet on defeating them in a straight one-on-one -on -one fight. What they need, each of them, is the support of Yeruin. With Yeruin, they can, you know, they can outperform the other chimp. So both of them start fighting for Yeruin's attention. Lurt and Nikki will both try and spend their time with Yeruin, groom him, give him food, give him protection from the other one, and so on. And Yeruin, uh, so, so Nikki, every time he sees Lewitt, uh, so, so Nikki then starts separating incidents against Lewitt. Every time Lewitt sits next to Yeruin, Nikki starts hooting at him and running around and, uh, you know, all the behaviours we saw Lewitt doing to Yeruin, Nikki's now doing until Yeruin leaves the space. At the same time, Yeruin starts playing Lewitt and Nikki off each other. He wants them in a rivalry. So every time Lewitt uh, is having is mating, Yeruin calls Nikki and Nikki attacks Lewitt. Every time Nikki starts mating, Yeruin calls Lewitt and Lewitt attacks Nikki. So he's playing them off each other and reminding them that they need his support throughout. It's very interesting. So N Nikki starts these separating uh, incidents. He starts hooting and displaying at Lewitt. And in time, Yeruin and Nikki form a coalition. And this, we might say, is a closed coalition. Here we have Nikki on the left. Uh, sorry, Yeruin on the left and Nikki on the right. Bunch of buddies here, bros. Chimp bros. And uh, they, um, when they, when they form this closed coalition, so it's not an open one, it's a closed one, with the basic aim to displace Lewitt as Alpha. And they start not to greet Lewitt, they start hooting and displaying and bluffing in his presence. And Lewitt is absolutely terrified from this. He, he panics quite a lot in this presence. They perform a violent attack upon him. And although Lewitt has the females on his side because of his grooming, of his control mode behavior, the first violence attack really does it. He can't defend himself and the illusion of power is shattered. And almost overnight, Nikki becomes the alpha male. Before we come to Nikki's reign, I just want to make a really key point here, which is that as I said, Yeruin had the balance of power. He was playing these two other stronger chimps off each other and showing them that they needed his support. And why did he choose Nikki then? Why didn't he stay in with Lewitt, who obviously wanted him as his right-hand man, against Nikki? Well, Devals argues that Yeruin followed what's called a minimal winning coalition or a minimal winning strategy. That is... Well, we often think that to win, what we're going to do is we're going to build the strongest possible army, strongest possible uh, force, and then smash our opponent. But actually, that isn't generally the case. Usually, what, what we do, humans do, is we form a coalition which is just enough to see us to win. So if we could choose between... Uh, I don't know, let's say I could team up with a group who are super strong or a group which are equally as strong as me and I can win with either. I'll probably go with the equally as strong rather than the super strong. And this is because of the role it affords you within that coalition. Lewitt could probably see off Nikki by himself, but wanted Yeruin to stop him joining Nikki. So he's He's a he's a kind of add-on to Lewitt's strength. He's not core to it. But if Yeruin joins Nikki, he becomes indispensable to him because Nikki can't displace Lewitt without Yeruin. 
And it's the same principle. If I team up with somebody who's super strong, uh, in the politically super strong, to overthrow the ruler, well, why can't they then dispense of me? Whereas if I team up with somebody who's just enough, together we can overturn, they don't have that advantage over me. So the 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 minimal winning strategy ensures your your place once the victory is achieved. And so when we're thinking about our own political strategy, uh, you know, I, I know there's a lot of people who who are in this kind of orbit who are thinking of these things. It's not just all YouTube uh, kind of discussions. There are there are definitely some people who are behind the scenes trying to work on these these aspects we need to think about okay we're going to have to form coalitions but who are we wanting to form a coalition with who is it that we can make our support indispensable to and so shape the direction of their if, if they got power we can shape the nature of that power we don't want to be in one which is over powerful because then we will be dispensed like many coalition partners have been in the past so this is a really important uh, point for those who want to form political alliances to make sure you're doing so with people that can't just uh, throw you away after they've won